hello everyone so in the last video we have seen with the value of 255 we can give 5 voltage analog output and with 0 we can give 0 voltage so guys uh, that scenario or that interpretation came from this scale right we know this 256 255 and 0 so <coughs> we can do some calculation right let's say 255 is implement implementing or implying or indicating 5 voltage what value can indicate 1 voltage okay so i already said analog value means you can give different amount of uh, analog outputs or in other words different analog voltages different voltages not 0 or 5 any in between voltage also you can provide okay guys so how you can give any in between voltage by giving the in between analog values as an output okay guys so any value in the scale i will i mean any value in between the scale you can give right any value you can give here or here or anywhere okay so that you can give any voltage in between 0 to 5 so how you can calculate uh, your analog value for the particular voltage you want to give as an output <coughs> okay so let's say you want to give one voltage so what can be the value you want you want to give 2.5 voltage so what can be the value so we can do a simple calculation guys so you we see for 5 voltage it is 256 units right you see this 256 units are for 5 voltage okay so but anyway even the 256 units what is the value the value is 255 because we start from zero okay so then how when we implement the i mean implying the value writing the value we have a minus one since we start from zero okay so that comes to 255 okay so let this part be a little away okay so for 5 voltage we have the value of 256 so if you want to give kind of one voltage what can be the value we should divide the 256 by 5 okay so if you divide 256 by 5 you will get 51.2 so wait so 51.2 units okay 51.2 units are going to uh, what we call uh, imply okay imply one voltage okay uh, are going to be the total amount of units for one voltage like 256 is the total amount of units for five voltage for one voltage it is 51.2 units one voltage will fill 51.2 units in this diagram okay so so if i if i have to keep that particular or respective value for 51.2 units what is the value i have to have a minus one isn't it so guys yes okay so the value will be 50.2 why for 5 voltage it is 256 units we have a minus one because we start from zero so the value we are going to give as an output will be 255 likewise for one voltage first let's calculate the amount right so we have to since 5 voltage is for 256 units one voltage will be 256 divided by 5 okay that is 51.2 so for 5 voltage 256 units for one voltage 51.2 units okay then we normally have a minus one because we start from zero so we will subtract one from this value that will give us 50.2 so since we cannot give any point values for an analog output okay so we only can give sorry guys we only ca can give full indigenous numbers so 50.2 if we you know balance it or not the balance what we call if you if you bring it bring it to a full number nearest fullest indigenous number that will be 50 okay so if you are going to give almost fun one voltage okay so um, it can be a little lower or higher than that okay so almost one voltage it will be the value should be you should give as an analog output is the most maximum accurate, accurate value you can give is 50 okay you understand guys what i'm talking about right so i will say analog right servant 50 okay so then here will be one voltage will be the output 
you understand that guys okay so this sense this calculation scenario i should be keeping in my mind then only i can realize okay now i am going to give one voltage as an output now i am going to give two voltage now i am going to give 2.5 voltage that kind of things okay so let's say you want to give 2.5 voltage okay so you know for 5 voltage it is 256 for so 2.5 voltage how much what's the value so you have to divide 256 by 5 okay and multiply the answer okay whatever the answer is coming for this division right then you have to multiply it by 2.5 okay guys so when you do it the answer will be obviously 128 okay so it is almost equal to dividing 2.256 by 2 okay don't worry what you can do is simply you can divide 256 by 5 okay guys and you multiply the value by 2.5 it is 128 okay so since we have to have a minus one so we will add that also minus one and this is going to be 127 so if you are going to give the value 127 analog value in that particular analog pin then the particular pin will give 2.5 voltage as an output value okay guys so if you if you say 127 that will be 2.5 voltage okay so take this moment to do to do few more practicals okay i will give you some task calculate these values guys for 3 voltage what is the most accurate possible value you can give okay so you can use this equation so you can divide this and multiply by 3 okay so whatever it is whatever i have taught from that please try a practical to find this analog value i mean this value this particular respective value for 3 voltage okay and also let's say 0 0.5 voltage find the most uh, maximum accurate value analog value for giving this particular voltage in that particular pin okay so two voltage okay guys so give a try uh, if you don't understand you can rewatch this video and get that idea and give a try it's it's some basic mathematics none other than that one calculation and one minus one that's all that you will get the answer okay guys so further proceeding with that with this further coding with this knowledge i will see or we will catch up in the next video guys until then try these things out and stay safe and consider subscribing us i will catch you up in the next video guys